Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimat Sub Research Lab and in today's video we are going to have an SPSS tutorial for beginners. In this video actually I want to take you through a simple process step by step. We will first start by our Excel worksheet and we're going to import this data to SPSS and then we are going to talk about variables uh, a little bit because we have a pre uh, some previous videos on those type of things. And then we are going to run a very simple like analysis on, on, on the data. So let's get in. So first of all, you can see a data view and a variable view. If you have seen my previous videos, I have explained that in variable view, you will have the name type with decimals, etc. of each variable in each row. In data, you will have each variable name in the title, and then you have all your data listed for each variable separately. So it's a little bit different with Excel. So let's start, for example, I want to start by gender and I'm gonna go by type, which is numeric, let's say, I'll say Y. Uh, the width is okay, the decimals is okay. And let's say I do not want any decimals. Label. In here, I want to say male or female. So a tip in here, you are free to have any space or any uh, special characters in the label. But in name, you are not. Okay, you're not allowed to have space nor uh, special characters. So that was a tip, in, a tip for here. And then in value, as long as the gender is uh, a nominal type of variable, if you want to include it in your analysis, you should give it a value for each category. So I want to have zero value for male, let's say and one value for female okay so that's it i click ok and then i have my values defined then i have the missing data i do not have mi missing data so i skip then i have these other things which are not important also and then we have a measure they are nominal okay this is a nominal variables so i select nominal and that's it if i go to data view you can see i have the gender variable in here and i can input numbers so i can have uh, 0 1 0 1 1 1 etc if i go for two three etc i can have them but i do not have any labels for them okay i do not have any definitions for them so i can have zero and one for here now let's define my other variables for here i want to have gender i want to have weight which is numeric also it does not have uh, values the label is weight again it does not have any values and does not have missing data and etc the measure is scale in here because um it's it's measured okay my other variable is height and again and measure is also scale Okay, I want to have a very simple uh, example for this video. I want to have, you know, some data for gender, weight, and height, and do some, you know, analysis, some descriptive analysis, and I want to run a correlation function also to see how is the correlation between two variables. So let's get to my Excel worksheet. You can see I have data for gender, weight, and height. What I want to do 
is to copy and paste this data in data view. So I paste them. You can see it's pasted in here and it's correct. So now we have all the data. What, what I want to go through is to go to analyze tab and then in this in descriptive statistics i go to descriptives okay then in here you can see a list of your variables in the left but the variables to be analyzed um are in the right box you do not have any of them and it is empty so i wanna uh, select some of them so i want to have the descriptive tables for weight let's say i click ok and then you can see a simple table in here you have 29 numbers for weight 29 data and valid data are also 29 this is because if you have a missing data it will subtract those from this number and then it shows it right here the minimum number in weight is 54 and the maximum number is 94 and then the average and standard deviation you can change these printed outputs so how you go to descriptive statistics again descriptives and then in options you can select which one to be shown okay that's the first tip and then the next thing i wanted to do in this video was to go for correlate so you can see correlate bivariate partial distances canonical correlation um since i want to have correlation between two variables i go for bivariate I click on that and then again i have a list of variables and the variables to be analyzed i want to select weight and height and then in test of significance you have two tailed or one tailed i want to select the two tailed and i click ok then the table for correlations is printed out you can see two you know two squares in here okay uh, i cannot write on the on the window right now you can see one and minus 0.13 and in here also one minus 0.13 okay so that those are these uh squares i meant and okay weight correlation with weight you know that uh, any variable with itself has 100 percent correlation what it means it means that they are they're correlated as much as they can it's it's uh, obvious okay weight with weight and height with height have one correlation you know that correlation could be different from minus one to positive one minus one means that these two variables have inverse type of relationship it means that when one of them goes up the other one goes down if they have a positive correlation it means that when one of them goes up the other one also goes up so in here what you have is correlation with weight and height is minus 0.13 so what it means it means that where whenever the weight goes up the height comes down that's that's the result for this randomly generated numbers so i do not have any scientific data set in here i have just created them ran randomly using rand between function in excel so these these results are just for the teaching sake okay 
And then you can see the significance p-value, okay? The p-value in here for weight and height is 0.48. What it means, it means that they do not correlate meaningfully. Uh, if you if you remember, we said whenever the p-value is lower than alpha, which is 5% in here, then we can reject the null hypothesis. What is the null hypothesis in here? The null hypothesis is that these two variables are not correlated significantly. And the alternative hypothesis is that they are correlated significantly. And this was two-tailed. So we are just say that they are correlated in some ways. When this is bigger than 5%, it's so much bigger than 5%, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So they are not correlated significantly. So I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. This was just an introduction into SPSS. I wanted to go through some simple and easy analysis using SPSS. And we, we are going to, you know, make it more complex, make it more complicated. So I will see you in the next videos. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye.